Hi, my name is Bob Royer, and this is an extremely rare find piano. I've only seen a handful of these in my, my time here in Dayton, Ohio. This is a Cherry 5 foot Queen Anne Mason and Hamlin. First of all, I want to show you the grain pattern is this is all one piece as far as the wood that they just cut. This is what they used to do, the high end piano companies would do in the 60s. Mason and Hamlin was one of the finest pianos ever built in America. A lot of people think it actually is a better piano than Steinway. It's currently being built in Boston and the prices literally are more money than Steinway. Now whether you think it's better or not, it doesn't matter because it is uh, priced a little more. This is all hand, all hand done, all hand carved. Queen Anne. This is cherry, but it has kind of a walnut stain to it. This is what they used to do in the 60s. We have this fluorescent lighting on the ceiling, so it really shows off the grain pattern. It's really not this light. If you look over here, it's more subdued. It has a beveled edge all the way around. There's a lot to know about a Mason and Hamlin. You can go on their current website and read about it if you'd like. The highlights would be of course, this piano was all hand built. One of the most exquisite pianos made in America and in the world. This is 100% cast iron. There's no alloy in it the way the mass produced uh, piano manufacturers make it now. So, this is all 100% cast iron. It has the duplex scale, which creates the overtone harmonic after the bridge. Steinway invented this in the late 1800s but this has it going all the way up to the end of the treble bridge. One thing that Mason and Hamlin, look, look how cool the in, inside of this is. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. This came out of a home in Dayton, Ohio. It was home use only. Underneath is a tension resonator. And what it is, it's this, they call it the spider. It's a turnbuckle assembly of metal that actually keeps the inner and outer rim from expanding as much so it helps the soundboard uh, sta be stabilized all throughout its lifetime. And that's one huge factor. This is the original bench. This has been re-done, re uh, the top. That's the only thing that's really actually been changed. Lifts up like this. Same way that Steinway does. So this piano is all original. It's in absolutely perfect shape, meaning there's no hairline cracks of any kind, none that have been repaired in the soundboard or bridges. The hammers, if you can tell right there, look very nice. Plenty of wear on the hammers. Um, it's concert tuned to A440. We had our finest piano technician regulate and tune and voice this piano. It's just a classic piano sound. A brand new piano like this would run right around forty thousand dollars. And um, I'm not even, I don't even know if they even make uh, the Queen Anne leg like that. They, they, I believe they make one like it but nothing of this style. And all the legs are like that. And just to let everybody know, in time there's always a little this is all one piece, but there's always just a little hairline crack in some of these legs. It does, is not loose at all. I could put some glue in there, but I'm not going to because it doesn't, um, it's not unstable at, any, at anything. We do deliver all across the United States. We find the president of the Piano Technicians Guild in your area to tune the piano. There's a 10-year warranty, parts and 10-year labor, covering everything but normal maintenance. If you're interested in this piano and you want to have an independent piano technician, we can provide that for you or you can go online to www.ptg.org, that's Piano Technicians Guild. There's three or four people here locally that are independent, that are fantastic, cost about $100 and they can give you an honest and thorough evaluation of the piano. Here's Greg Norrod that's going to show you how great this piano sounds.
Thank you.